Want to play? By Molly Tischler, illustrated by Johnson Simon. Carl Erskine lived in a small town in Indiana. He always loved playing catch with his dad and two brothers. Carl liked catching the ball, but he liked throwing it even more. In 1935, Carl was nine years old. He dreamed of becoming a pitcher on a major league baseball team. His dad suggested that he join a group of kids who played baseball in the local park. Carl liked to play basketball too. He loved all kinds of sports. One day, Carl and a friend were shooting hoops. A boy walked by the basketball court. Carl saw him watching and asked, Hey, wanna play? The boy said, sure. Carl's friend whispered to him, that boy is black. Carl said, I don't care. If he wants to play with us, that's just fine with me. And that is how Johnny Wilson and Carl Erskine became great friends. They played basketball and baseball together all the time. They went to each other's houses to play other games and to eat dinner together. It was easy when they were at their homes. However, when the two boys went anywhere together, there were rules that tried to separate them. It was called segregation. When they went to the movies, there was a special section for black people. Carl sat with Johnny there. Carl and Johnny were friends, but it was very different. Most white kids did not have a black kid as their best friend. Most black kids didn't have a white kid as their best friend. It was the start of something wonderful. Johnny was very good at basketball. He was known as Jumping Johnny and in high school was voted to be the Indiana Mr. Basketball. He went on to play for the famous Harlem Globetrotters. He was a superstar. When Carl was in high school, he played on the baseball team. He loved it. He was a great pitcher. He was noticed by baseball scouts and signed to be a pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. In 1946, he was 19 years old. His dream of playing for a major league team had come true. Carl enjoyed being one of the best players. He even pitched two no-hitters. But his wife Betty reminded him, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. While Carl pitched for the Dodgers, he became friends with teammate Jackie Robinson. Jackie was the first black Major League Baseball player. Jackie was a very good baseball player. He won many awards. He was important for the Dodgers in 1955. In that year, they finally won the World Series. Johnny had been treated badly. Just like Johnny, Jackie was treated badly because of segregation. Often, he could not eat at the same restaurant as his team. When the team traveled to other cities, he had to stay at a different hotel just because he was black. Carl admired how Jackie didn't let those things get him down. He ignored the name calling. He just stayed focused on doing his best. He watched Jackie get even by playing better. They had been on the same team for 10 years, but they were getting too old to play baseball. By 1959, both of them had retired. Carl and Jackie stayed good friends all their lives. That was because Carl did not see the color of a person's skin. He saw talent in others, and he saw goodness in others. Carl always said, I don't care if you're green or purple or brown. If you are a good person, you will be my friend. After baseball, Carl returned to Indiana. 
In 1960, Carl and his wife Betty had their fourth child, Jimmy. Jimmy was born with special needs. Carl had learned a lot from Jackie. He learned how Jackie bravely faced being different. Carl could use those lessons to help Jimmy. Jimmy would need to learn how to face the challenges of having a disability, of being different. The Erskins all loved Jimmy. They all helped. Jimmy's two brothers and one sister made sure Jimmy felt safe, that he belonged to the family. This was very important. At that time, there were no special schools or classrooms. People like Jimmy were often made fun of. They were called names. They rarely grew up to have a job. They almost never lived in their own house. Carl saw that Jackie had been treated like he was different. He didn't let it get to him. Carl wanted the same thing for Jimmy. Carl and Betty worked hard. They made sure Jimmy went to school like other kids. When Jimmy got older, he even got a job. Nobody expected Jimmy to be successful, but he was just like Jackie. Jimmy also joined Special Olympics. There, he felt accepted. He competed with others who had the same abilities. Just like his dad, Jimmy became a champion. He won medals and praise for doing his best. He competed in a lot of different sports. Some of them were track and field, swimming, golf, and bowling. By living their dreams, both Jackie and Jimmy didn't feel as different anymore. Carl was a proud father. He was a famous baseball player. He often talked to people about doing their best. He would show a group his shiny World Series ring, then bring one of Jimmy's Special Olympics medals out of his pocket. He asked, which award is a bigger success? Then he would smile. Jimmy taught me it's not about being the best, it's about doing your best. Carl's message is to always do your best and look for the best in others. And when you play, you just might forget about your differences.